SEW Eurodrive is a leading manufacturer of electric motors in Europe, while also producing numerous electronic and mechanical gear units. The fact that these drive units are in use all over the world is practically impossible to overlook. We at Agtas have delivered a generously dimensioned rubber belt tumble blast machine for the plant in Forbach, France, for blasting aluminium housing parts. An occupational safety is paramount at this state-of-the-art plant. The complete machine was installed with a sound insulation enclosure. Machine parts cast in this plant need to be deburred and cleared of protrusions. Many of these castings have a geometry that allows them to be poured into a trough for processing. Ziel von diesem Projekt war die Endgrade und die oberflächliche Qualität zu haben. Und ein anderes Ziel war, zu keine Lager zwischen Gießanlage und Strahlanlage. Und heute diese Lager ist leer. For example, the housing covers here are fed into the automated loading device in transport boxes. The system inlet and outlet consist of two short lines with chain conveyors. A large six-axis robot with a range of four meters now picks up a box and places it in the Agtos machine loading device. A rapid action roller shutter separates the machine and delivery areas during the blasting phase to prevent straying abrasive from escaping. The batch, which should not exceed 400 kilograms, is poured automatically into the opened machine. The trough closes and the robot removes the empty box to place it in position under the outlet conveyor now. The Agtos machine starts automatically. Another stored blasting program can only be selected if a part configuration needs to be treated differently. All relevant parameters such as the blasting time, turbine speed or abrasive shot flow rate are displayed and can be modified if necessary. The trough is emptied by reversing it at the end of the working cycle. A conveyor then transports the housing parts back into the same box they were delivered in. The robot now places the container on the outlet conveyor, positioned parallel to the inlet. Let's take a look at the process details during the next run. The blasting area, which is the trough in this case, is created by a continuous rubber belt. Two high-performance turbines are visible above the trough. The two turbine wheels each deliver 11 kilowatts of power and are supplied with fine abrasive media for this task. The perforation allows the abrasive to drop downwards for treatment and reuse. At the bucket elevator base is the refill station, into which fine S30 abrasive is just being poured. Continuous turning ensures uniform all-round blasting of all surfaces. Burrs and protrusions which have been sifted out are discharged into a separate box beneath the conveyor level. The wind sifter is located right at the top of the machine and removes dust and undersized particles through a lateral airflow. A vacuum blower conveys these fine particles to a wet filter unit that discharges the material removed into a roller container positioned outside the booth. 
The trough remains closed after blasting to ensure that remaining dust can be extracted. When the blast chamber door now opens, the reverse action pushes the clean workpieces in batches into the vibrating conveyor channel. Sorted out according to type and free of foreign bodies, these housing covers now travel back into their transport box. The high level of automation of this machine means that intermediate storage of workpieces can be dispensed with. It also represents an important step towards networking of all production channels at this successful SEW plant in Forbach. Agtas. Competence in shot blasting technology.